Hello, and welcome to Gamer U Tips and Tricks for the Quest Keeper. Today, it is all about equipment. When you enter out into the world, it definitely helps to have the right equipment. Without the right stuff, you could end up in a bad situation. Thus, it makes sense to try and equip yourself with the best stuff possible. In order to do that, it is important to know what there is to equip and how to get more of it. The Quest Keeper keeps it simple by leaving only three different pieces of equipment for you to worry about. These three different types of equipment are your staff, shoes, and outfit. It is possible to purchase and equip each of these items from each of the three chests in the main starting area. This is also where you can purchase the items you don't have and one of the main places where you'll be spending your coins. When it comes to purchasing new equipment for your character, it is important to pay attention to the effects that each item offers you so that you can make the most useful and powerful character around. Here are some of the best items that you can get for your staff, shoes, and outfit. When it comes to your character's staff, there are a number of different options you can choose from. Some help to handle dangers while others reveal traps ahead. However, one of the most useful staffs to purchase in the game is the Kinetic Rod of the Psychonaut, as it offers you the ability to open nearby chests. This is an extremely useful ability as it keeps you from chasing after too many risky chests and helps you to bring in a lot of coins quickly. And it is definitely helpful to collect lots of coins because the most useful shoes in the game will cost you a pretty penny. The three best shoes are the Holy High Tups of the Stylish Savior, which allow you to walk on water, the nimble boots of the Oracle Servant, which allow you to jump over small holes, and the crossy cleats of the Beatnik Porpoise, which allow you to move one square at a time. These shoes range from 500 coins to 2,500 coins, and will keep you from death time and time again. It is once you get a handle on death that you are able to look stylish. That is where the outfits come into play. Most of them will keep you safe from one form of harm on the level, but some are just there to give you a cool costume to run around in. As a result, the outfits usually become useful as you need them on a quest. Once you manage to get all these different items, you will be able to properly equip yourself to take on a quest ahead of you and the world. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out some more videos here at GamerU.